Sorry I'm a little late. Last meeting ran long. Okay, uh, let's let's we can get started here. I can give you a little update on the viewer pipeline. Um, as you almost certainly noticed, yesterday we promoted uh, the main branch. Uh, that has some um, really good crash fixes in the image pipeline. Uh, so you you almost certainly want to pick those up. Um, that the the big innovation being that we're instead of crashing when we can't allocate memory or a couple of other situ situations uh, for a texture, we just replace it with gray and keep on going. And so if if your viewer starts, you know, if you start seeing lots of gray things, uh, it may be time to relog. Um, that's a that's kind of a, a hacky workaround, but it's uh, way better than crashing. So um, we're going to try to continue on that line um, in some other areas of the code base that are that are currently have have deliberate crashes or are ending up with exceptions being thrown. Um, we're also going to be doing a round of cleaning up how all exceptions are generated and thrown and caught in the viewer as a whole. Um, that will be, I expect that will come in the, in the uh, next plus one batch of main fixes. Yeah. I think most of the crashes we fixed were actually bad texture crashes, that is, textures, texture files that have invalid data in them. And that's, that's most of the ones that we, we caught. Um, there are some more that are out of memory errors that, that we, have to, we have to continue to hunt down. Um, but uh, the goal is to, is to gradually try and catch up with all the stuff in the in the image pipeline that um, and some other places where some low level thing has been crashing because it can't do what it wants to do we're just going to try and um, keep the viewer alive and somehow clue the viewer you know obviously something is going to have to not work but but just because something is not working doesn't mean we should crash the viewer so we're we're kind of gradually trying to work through this in in a few different areas Uh, I don't know, T Firelight. Um, I hope that it will um, go a long way towards that, especially between that and the the Jelly Doll limits. Um, I, I, it is my hope that we we can eliminate all of those. Um, okay, um, the. Uh, so the so that's that's that um, that's out, um, and I saw it looked to me as though somebody at Firestorm had already started merging that, um, which is wonderful. But uh, everybody else should too. Um, uh, probably next up is the QuickTime replacement viewer. Uh, VLC, we, we've been calling it VLC. Um, that's only QuickTime replacement on Windows. Uh, the plan is to incorporate the replacement of QuickTime with VLC on the Mac in the 64-bit builds um, so that they will all be doing the same thing. So there won't be a difference between functionality difference between the Mac and the, and, and the Windows viewer, um, or at least no more than we absolutely have to. Um, you obviously have that uh, have that option. We decided to use VLC. 
you're free to do whatever you want. Um, so VLC, the build has been updated. Uh, it went to QA last night. I have not heard yet whether it got through QA or not, but um, as soon as it does, um, it's VLC. Um, the uh, so that's that's uh, that should be back out in its test cohort either later today or well we're we're past the deadline for that so it'll be it'll be early next week uh, I hope unless somebody. Yeah, no, it didn't. Um, so that's that's on its way. Um, skipping one for just a minute, the Visual Outfit Browser. This is the thing that lets you put pictures of your outfits on tiles that are in your outfit folder. Um, that will also obviously get the main fixes and be updated. Um, it actually had a round of its own fixes and passed QA last night, but we can't update it because it hasn't been hasn't merged out the the new default viewer. So that'll that'll be doing that today and getting into QA. So we should see an update to that early next week. Uh, and then, not to no one's surprise, there will be uh, a new round of main fixes. We already had a, a bunch of them waiting, and they'll uh, a cohort of those will appear next week. Um, we will be getting back to working on the 64-bit viewer, um, hopefully sometime next week. Uh, well, the visual outfit feature is out there. You're welcome to start merging it if you want to. Um, and uh, so there will be another round of bug fixes in the main branch um, so those those are coming too and and as I say we are going to get back to the 64-bit thing and then Beto is got a got a project viewer update this past week or was it the week before um, um, it's been a little while at this point but we'll have one coming up fairly soon with the uh, uh, with pulling from the latest viewer release as well as some uh, new bug fixes Okay, and do we have any any thoughts about how close we are to getting out of project viewer stage, doing a release candidate? Yeah, it's it's hard to extrapolate that uh, if the if the bugs are coming in relatively fast, but I, I think it's starting to to settle down a bit. So uh, I'm, I'm still hoping we can get something out in the, in the you know not too distant future. Right. So keep an eye on that. Obviously. Um, Lots of fun to be had there. Uh, and uh, so let's see, other uh, worn graphics crashers. Doesn't protect against memory bloat crashes. OK, I'd love to have example cases of those. Early and we'll we'll see if we can't get on that. That's good. Good to know. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, fun. Yeah, we have actually have a whole region full of things like that. If there's a uh, when you teleport in, there's a teleport point that's carefully walled off so that you can't see anything in the rest of the region and there's a big sign that says you know be careful if you go through this door uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, so on 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 other notes uh, we are continuing to make progress on some of the voice updates uh, I expect another build from Vivox. Uh, I've been doing some debugging on the update we have, and there's there's one or two issues that still remain to be addressed. Um, but that's 
coming pretty soon. The sources for that are public. Uh, it's it's um, Linden Lab viewer viewer Vivox, uh, but we we're not at the point of putting out a a, a public viewer with it yet. Um, hopefully that'll happen sometime in a couple of weeks. Um, so that's that's coming. Uh, I wanted to raise one other. Quick note, I had a request from uh, and, and one of the topics that came up at our um, at our Second Life conference last week. Uh, we, we had a, a wonderful presentation from support about things they'd like us to do, um, which is, you know, always terrific. Uh, and one of the things that they highlighted was abuse report categories. Apparently, some of you have not... But, well, apparently there are still many users running viewers that use old abuse report categories. Uh, the ones in the current Linden Lab viewer are the ones that support wants to see. And if you just make up other ones and send them in or use old values, essentially it confuses the tools that support uses to follow up on these things and makes it very difficult for them to actually act on them. So, uh, so, in the short term, please check your viewers and make sure that they're using the same abuse report categories that the current Linden viewer is using. And if you have any questions about those, feel free to direct them to me as usual. Um, basically, in the short term, what I'm going to do is tell you, please just make the match. Um, uh, Yes, but please just make them match, because if, if you give support a category they don't understand, they won't know what to do with it. All right? Um, and if you think there's one that ought to be there that that isn't there, feel free to send me a note there about that, and I will help forward that to support and, and work through. Yeah, you have older viewers. So the the plan, the future plan, the plan for how we're going to deal with this in the future is there's going to be a new capability defined that will give you the categories. And uh, I will be putting out a viewer at some point in the next, you know, several weeks, sometime. Uh, I haven't even gotten started on this yet, but uh, it's, it's going to happen um, where you'll get the categories from the this, this server um, and we'll want you to always just use those, right? So then we'll all be in sync, and somebody can make a really good and useful suggestion about what some new category ought to be or how some category ought to be explained better, uh, and we'll be able to update it, and everybody will get the same thing. Um, they'll, they'll, uh, I believe that we will be giving you localized versions. Um, and, of course, the, it's the usual thing. We'll... If, um, if we haven't got, if we haven't got one of the languages, then we'll give you the, uh, you know, if your if your viewer says that you want it in, uh, you know, uh, Fijian or something that we don't have, then we'll we'll give you the English string, and um, that's the best we can do. <laughs> right. Um, so. Uh, but, um, so we're still working out all the internal details of how to, how to set that up and, and all that. Um, when we've done that, it will show up in a viewer and I will highlight it at one of these meetings that it's there and that you should please pick that up. Um, uh, but in the meantime, if you have old viewers, this is a good reason to, this is, might be something to point out to your users is that if you're, Filing abuse reports from an old version using out-of-date abuse categories, uh, you're making it difficult for Linden Lab to act on them or to act on them correctly. Yes, uh, that was another thing support asked for was they said they want the screenshot to be mandatory. So it is, or it will be. Um, and, and the reason for that is that despite the fact that people are often 
filing abuse reports about things and the way they appear. Like, you know, this person is putting up a giant hideous billboard with an offensive image on it, or whatever it is. Uh, or they've got a particle spewer that's spewing offensive image particles, and, they, and they'll say that in the abuse report, they will still not include the picture. And so uh, they said, just don't make it optional. And even if the picture is not useful, we'll still get it. They'd rather get a not useful picture than not get a useful picture. Because often, you know, they'll, they'll show up to investigate the, uh, a report that such and such a hideous thing is being, you know, displayed or spewed all over a region or whatever. And when they get there to look at it, it's not there. And then they can't do anything about it because they don't have even a picture. Yeah. Um, yeah, pictures are not, you know, necessarily good, but um, not having a picture's when, picture when when one would be useful is worse. So that's that's the change we're making. So and there were various other you know there were various other uh, things that support asked us to improve for them and we're we're working on them, most of them. I don't think you have access to the included image. Um, I don't have access to abuse reports at all. No. Uh, it is it is my belief that that support is well aware of the potential of using abuse reports as a griefing vector. So they are they are they are remarkably well clued in to the various ways in which almost everything in Second Life can be abused. Including abuse reports. Uh, well, they, you know, they have they have learned like like the rest of us. They have learned from the residents. So I think that was that was everything I had on my agenda. So the floor is open.
Uh, I would say there's a decent chance that it will be in RC in, you know, in a month. Um, certainly not guaranteed. Uh, I, I, you know, given that things take a while to percolate from RC into release, I would say that uh, actually being in release that soon would be uh, uh, it would be a lot less likely. It's um, as it, it's it's much easier for us to take a guess at how soon somebody will become some project will become a released candidate because that's sort of something you can measure within the project itself. Um, when you get to you are you know one of the released candidates, uh, then it's a question of you know which one is is going to turn out to be the next promotion, and sometimes something will end up sitting. Uh, for two or three weeks just because something else was more urgent to promote. So, for example, I would have uh, I would have guessed certainly two weeks ago that VLC would have been the default viewer by this week. Um, and in fact, I probably did guess that. But uh, the somebody could go back and look at the last video and find out. Uh, I certainly have suggested to various people that that would prob probably be true. But it turned out that when we did this image fix in the maintenance viewer, its crash rate went down by like 4%. Um, so we said, well, let's give that to people uh, because that's, that's way better. Yeah, it, it was a lot. It's, a, it's very big. So, I mean, our, our crash rate had crept up a little bit, and that was distressing. So when we saw an opportunity to bring it back down into a, a much better range, uh, we jumped on it. So VLC is still one of our high priority ones to get out there because we don't want people's Windows systems to have, uh, you know, the security holes that QuickTime implies. But um, but when it's competing with a four percent crash rate drop, uh, you know, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna be the first thing out the door. So it's picked up those changes. Hopefully, it will have a huge crash rate drop, and then we'll. And then we'll get it up. Um, but it it could be that you know something else comes along and turns out to be uh, very important to promote. So we don't like to do. <clears throat> we shoot for one every uh, promotion to the default viewer every couple of weeks. Uh, we try not to do it any more frequently than once a week. I mean, obviously, if there's some critical fix, we'll we'll do it as fast as it, it can be done. But um, uh, so the the time to get out of release candidate and into default viewer status um, and beyond is uh, is actually less predictable than the time it takes to become a release candidate because becoming a release candidate just means you've gotten your bug list down to the the you know an acceptable level. Right. Yeah. Well, certainly compared to the long release cycles of some third-party viewers. Different way of doing it. Um, we can do a little bit more parallelism than, than most of you can do. Uh, on the other hand, it is uh, while it is slightly higher risk than waiting for it to become the default viewer, it, it is perfectly acceptable under the rules for you to um, to merge anything that's in release candidate status and include it in your releases. Just make sure you pick up any fixes that come later. Right. There, there aren't a, there aren't a huge number of us, but there are there's more than one. Thank goodness. Yeah, I know. I understood that. Other topics?
yes, I'm I'm really interested to see what will happen now that uh, Firestorm has the Jelly Doll functionality, because not not so much because it will affect what Firestorm users see when they render other people, although that will obviously be important. Um, it's the uh, the part that I think is interesting is the fact that it will give you the notices about how many people are seeing you. Uh, which is where the, the really interesting social experiment comes in, I think. Uh, unless you unless you changed it, it's pretty easy to turn off those notices. Actually, Um, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I mean, I think it's. I I like getting the notices, um, but then I usually wear pretty low cost outfits. So. I saw that you added it to the name tags. I think that's, I think that's pretty funny, actually. But it's cool. It is probably, but by, by the way, uh, you know, um, any of you who have looked at the code have seen the great big comments that I put in there that said, "Please don't change how these complexity values are calculated." If you have suggestions about ways to improve that, please let us know. Um, I'm happy to hear that feedback. We have gotten some very interesting cases that suggest that there are various things um, that, that could be improved upon. And we will be, from time to time, looking at those and, and seeing whether or not there's a way to improve that. So. Um, and that's that's one of the reasons that we have not done things like added a field to marketplace to say what the complexity of things is. Because first of all, there are some reasons why it's legitimately different for different users. Small differences, but there are differences. So if you picked any one value, you would you would not always match what somebody would see um, in in actual practice. Uh, but also because we we may well and probably will over time uh, be tweaking how that number is calculated, um, and uh, hopefully, in, in you know ways that make it more accurate. Um, uh, there, there, it is. It is essentially impossible to make one number with one formula that accurately reflects everybody's real cost to render something, and that's because. Um, different GPUs have different strengths. So on one family of GPUs or one model of GPU, it might be that, uh, you know, extra polygons is no big deal, uh, but extra transparency is a big deal. Um, and on a different model or different family, it might be exactly the reverse. Um, so uh, there, are, there are ways in which those numbers can't be made a perfect accounting. Um, we're trying to do our best. Um, we will keep tweaking that a little bit. Um, Thirty-eight k will often change to 81k after a teleport. That's, that's weird. 
Whirly. Uh, I don't have to tell you to file a bug report if you can make a repro. Um, so, okay, thank you. Uh, so we are going to keep trying to improve that, um, and there are, there are some people who have who have submitted some some cases that look as though they probably justify an adjustment to the to the calculation. Um, it's it's a in order to get as good a test as possible, what we do is do measurements with pretty carefully set up test cases and try to measure what the real performance effect is on a bunch of different hardware and software platforms. And then we kind of average them together and figure out how we should change the formula based on those results. So it's kind of a time consuming process. Uh, so please be patient with us. We're trying to be as fair as we, we can be. Um, and while it is very, very interesting for someone to tell us how um, one particular piece of content affected their FPS uh, and how that wasn't well reflected in, in its uh, rendering cost calculation, um, please be aware that that's, that's just one data point. And uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to be a little bit more scientific about it than that. So, uh, we, we will look at those things from time to time, and we will make improvements to that formula from time to time. But it probably, it's going to be something we're going to change only slowly and carefully. And that's a deliberate policy choice on our part, because we understand that it could be disruptive if we, if we make big changes um, that are not well justified. Poly sales issue is a very interesting one, and we'll we'll follow that one up for sure. It's on the list. Yes, jellies are cheaper to render than imposters. Yeah, well. You know, if if we if we make a change if we make a change we think is significant and nobody says that it's going to be the end of Second Life, then we figure we probably haven't been bold enough. Yeah, well, the, the 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 day is definitely not over. We've got we've got lots more for you. That's that's a good idea, Veer. I like that. You should suggest that for the next company T-shirt. Uh, it would it would make me very happy if the graphics card vendors were were tripping over each other trying to solve all of our problems for us, but alas, that doesn't seem to be the case.
Any other new issues? Old issues that need to be rehashed? Fire Hmm. Well, at least at least that one has the has the nice property that people post screenshots and I can see what it is they're complaining about. Sometimes I can't. Um, Yeah, I don't I don't have any idea what the genesis of something like that would be. All right. Well, uh, if we don't have anything else, Yeah, I have I have no idea how that would how that would work. Okay. I guess uh I guess we're we're ready to be done. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. And I will, I hope, see you in two weeks.